Hi, in this video we're looking at uh, continuing work with uh, Venn diagrams. Um, it might be useful to follow the link in the description below and download these particular questions and have a go at them for yourself. Um, they do take a little bit of working through because really you've got to make sure that you keep reading the question and understanding what it is they're trying to represent. Okay, so out of 50 people surveyed, 30 have a brother, 25 have a sister and 6 have neither a brother or a sister. Well that bit of it is easy. What we can do is we can say six of the people in the survey out of the 50 have neither a brother nor a sister so they're outside the scope of the actual circles themselves. Okay what that means then is out of the 50 people that we looked at um, it would mean that if we took six away, 44 people are going to be represented by the brother and sister circle, so in the middle here. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because we're saying that 30 have a brother and 25 have a sister. So if that is the case, 30 have a brother plus 25 have a sister, that means 55 people have... Um, a brother and a sister of which 11 of them the difference between the 44 that we're going to represent and the 55 it's shown here there's a difference here of 11 so that 11 must be the people who have also a member of the opposite sex so one has got um, so if a brother will have a sister and a sister will have a brother it's 11 in the middle of the ones that represent those that have another sibling okay that means then that we're in a position to be able to complete the rest of these circles so let's just look at brother for a moment and we've got 30 have a brother well 11 have already been accounted for that would mean then that there must be 19 who have brothers only same with the sister calculation you've got 11 of them have got also a brother however there are 25 who have a sister so therefore it must be 11 plus 14 is going to be 25. So that's using the information to complete the Venn diagram. Okay, let's have a look at the next bit of it. So it says, given that a person selected has a brother, so we're looking at this group of people in here, find the probability. So that's going to be out of 30 because the 19 plus 11 is going to be 30. So these people have a brother, and the probability that they also have a sister is represented by the central part there, which is 11 out of 30. And that will answer this particular question. OK, hope it's been useful for you. Appreciate that part A is uh, perhaps just take a little bit of time to kind of work through. Um, Please do have a look at the other videos in the series and that might give you a little bit more idea as well. Add a comment below if you're not sure about anything and I'll always come back to you. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.